welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today we are going to do a grocery haul. I'm going to show you some of my meals I have planned for the week. If you are on the east coast I heard you were getting some snow so I was hoping that some of these recipes can be comforting and cozy during that time. I personally love the snow and would love it if you sent it our way but I totally understand those of you that love the warmth. So hopefully some of these recipes will give you some of that. And I'm super excited because this video is in collaboration with Taylor over at Taylor Elmore. That is her channel name. I'm going to drop down her video that she is making in collaboration with me and her Instagram. She shares such amazing content. When I first got started on YouTube, she was one of the ones I looked to and I still do. She does what's for dinners, grocery hauls, she does day in the life. She is a homeschooling mama, so just more power to her. She's just been doing such an amazing job and it has been so inspirational to watch her content. So I would love it if you went over there and checked out Taylor's video after you looked at mine. Make sure you subscribe and check out her Instagram because she always has some really wonderful content there as well. And if you are coming over here from Taylor's channel, hello, my name is Tori. I am a wife, I'm a mother of two, and we live in Northern Colorado. I like to share videos on recipes, budget-friendly hacks, and everything in between. So I would love it if you stuck around and became part of our YouTube family. I like to share videos two to three times a week. So definitely make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any. And drop down in the comments if you are new here. I do love to hear where you're from and who you are if you feel comfortable sharing. So again, welcome and let's get into the video. All right, my friends, we Instacarted from King Supers this week and we spent $85, which is a little much for me to be honest, but we definitely were running out of some things. I shopped my pantry beforehand, but it was really the fresh stuff that we were running out of, so that is why we spent so much. But let's start over here. I'm gonna start with the meat first. We only have one item, so if you don't really like meat or the sight of it in a package, that's going to be coming up, so just skip about 10 seconds. All right, so we got some boneless chicken thighs. I like to put that in the crock pot and shred it for my husband. Some peanut butter for my son and some sriracha for some sushi this week. I got my favorite vegan mayo, Sir Kensington's, and some more salt. We got some more spices because when you are a vegan, you run out of a lot of spices. Um, some black pepper, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and garlic salt. We got some fig bars for my son. It was just something quick. Like I said, these are great except for the sugar. So trying to steer clear of that. I got some French style green beans, some ranchera salsa for huevos rancheros. I got some great northern beans and garbanzo beans, another thing of garbanzo beans, and petite diced peeled tomatoes. I got some onion soup mix, and then I got some of these plum organics for my daughter. These are great to just have in the diaper bag. And then an avocado for some sushi and cucumber for some sushi. I have some Brussels sprouts. I have some of the Caesar salad. I paid full price for this, so $3.79, but then I saw this, so I don't really know how to dispute that, but I went back in my receipt and everything, so I understand that people make mistakes, but that's kind of a bummer. Um, and then some spinach. I also got some Italian sausage for myself, and then I got some sweet kernel corn, some cauliflower, I did get some more broccoli and I got some veggie broth. I got two of those. I got one of these nut pods again. Um, I was not expecting something so small for the price, which is just fine. I'm happy that I have the funds to even buy plant-based items, but yeah, um, I got the hazelnut. And then we got some whole carrots, some tofu, the extra firm. They finally have that again. Then I got the Wassa multigrain crackers. A lot of this I got through my Ibotta app and I get money back once it gets to a $20 balance. So this was a big ticket item. They were $2 back, so I was pretty excited about that. And then I got some tomatoes and gnocchi. I got some balsamic vinegar. 
Coming over here, I got some kale. I like to put kale in just about anything. And then I got some whole wheat tortillas, some multigrain wide pan bread. I really love this stuff. I got some iceberg lettuce and some spaghetti squash. All right, my friends, and here is my meal plan. If you are new here, I tend to shop my pantry first and then make meals around what we already have. I've been doing that since I started following Jordan Page and she is super helpful. So if you wanna look her stuff up, it's just Jordan Page. I can link her channel down below for you. But this is how I plan everything out. I write down my week, so it's the 7th through the 14th, and then I pick a word of the week that I'm going to try and think about throughout my day. So this week I picked love because it's Valentine's Day, but yeah. So Sunday we are having some fried rice with avocado wontons and some sushi. We write it like sushi because that's what my son calls it. And I will probably put some tofu on mine and some chicken on my husband's and I'm going to use some of that sweet and sour sauce. And then on Monday, we are having some spaghetti squash Alfredo, and I make a Alfredo sauce from cream cheese, half and half, and a little bit of chow cheese. So I use Kite Hill, I use Califia Farms, and I use chow, which is made from field roast. So that's my vegan version, but um, you could use a regular Alfredo sauce if you would like. And I'm gonna put some broccoli on the side of that and top it with some hemp seeds. Um, we do really love spaghetti squash, but my husband uh, really likes pasta, so I'm probably gonna add in some whole wheat penne in that as well. And I'm just a fan of the spaghetti squash, so I will leave it at that. And then on Tuesday, we are having BLTs and Caesar salads, and I use the Benevolent Bacon, and that is super delicious. I have some in the freezer to use up, so that is why we are doing that. And then on Wednesday, we are having huevos rancheros, which requires an egg, some tortilla. I put potato in mine. If you wanna see a recipe, just comment down below and I can type it out for you. And then on Thursday, we are having tofu slash salmon teriyaki. I'm going to have tofu. Husband and son are gonna have salmon. We are gonna have some Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes with that. And I normally serve it with uh, quinoa or brown rice or something like that. And then on Friday, we generally order a pizza or make homemade pizzas. My son really loves doing this. So we're gonna do buffalo chicken and pepperoni with vegetables. And then on Saturday, we are having gnocchi soup with Italian sausage, and that video will go live sometime soon, but I'm gonna do some cozy soup recipes. So that is our meal plan for the week. Usually I write something down over here if I am missing any ingredients, and I just save this little spot for important things. I got this at Target in the dollar spot, I think two years ago, but I really think they have one in there all the time. I haven't been in store in a while, so someone comment down below and let me know if they do have something like that. And yeah, that is what we are going to have for the week. If you have any questions about any of the recipes, just drop them down in the comment box and I can answer them in the comments. Alrighty, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and got some inspiration for your week full of delicious, comforting meals for that cold weather day. All right, one of my littles just woke up from a nap. And as I was saying, this video was in collaboration with Taylor. So definitely go over and check out her channel. I will leave all of her links down below. Make sure you tell her that I sent you. And if you are new here, welcome. I am so happy you're here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and we will see you next time. Bye.